Slim, why are you posting that and ruining the f***ing surprise? Shut up, you f***ing snitch. As a big critic of women's MMA, are there any women fights you'd enjoy watching? I'd rather watch Zhang Wei Li fight than 90% of male fights. Nah, not at all. To be honest with you, chat, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. Zhang Wei Li fell off skill-wise. Another hot take. While I'm looking yoked as f***. Another hot take, chat. Zhang Wei Li has fell off skill-wise. Her he She worked a lot on her wrestling. Her striking has gotten abysmal compared to her previous form. I'm just saying. Her grapple, she's more well-rounded now. But her striking has really kind of slipped in terms of the the uh, snappiness of it, the, the, like, the defensive striking. I have not put shoulder pads in my shirt. It's just the way the seams fit me. They wouldn't fit you like this because you're a narrow-shouldered Wade concept built bit. No offense to Wade. It's just a great example. No offense. I like Wade. He's cool. Save UK for it. I don't like Tommy Robinson. He's a Zionist chill. You can't be pro-Israel and also anti-mass migration into Europe. Hypocritical. If you don't like the idea of people being moved somewhere based on ethnicity, if they've been wronged in the past, mass moved into an area until they overwhelm the native population, then you can't be uh, you can't be pro Israel. You have to be uh, pro Palestine and anti mass migration. Hypocrite. Fighting a decent fight, but I just think he's a shill. Um, the sphere being a good card, uh, it's not at all. Neither will happen ever. The sphere is not bad. It's just not a monumental card. The sphere is like yes or no. The sphere is a good, a great fight night card in a crowded arena with O'Malley Marab on the top of it. Take away O'Malley Marab, I'd be like, damn, this fight night's good. Holy moly, it's got a title fight and Lopez Ortega. Whoa, this one, this is a really good crowded fight night card. And then they just stick O'Malley Marab on top, and now it's a monumental pay per view, the likes of which we've never seen before. I mean, come on, if it didn't have O'Malley Marab and there was, it was a fight night, O'Day Osborne would be a feature fight. So that's like a fight night. A weak one at that with like very top heaviness to it. It'd probably be Ribovich versus Zell Huber, but you know what I mean? It'd be on the main card, O'Day Osborne. That's still bad for a fight night. I'm right about the Pereira thing, by the way. Do don't sleep, people. In the UFC. I'm waiting for it, mate. You might be the biggest Pereira fan I am. I'm a huge Pereira fan. It started as an Adesanya hatred, and then once I delved deep into the story of Pereira, I became a huge fan, just like the Oliveira situation. Although that didn't come out of hatred. I was just a big fan of Oliveira. One thing I love about Oliveira is that doctors told him he'd never walk again. That is such a f***ing cool backstory that no one even takes into consideration. Didn't he have, like, scoliosis in the favela? And his parents took him to the hospital and they said he's probably not going to walk and he'll never play football. And he f***ing gets to the UFC. They feed him to the dogs as a young boy. He scrapes by, barely maintaining a career, and he goes on the run of all runs, dude, and changes his life. Based Oliveira. I don't give a f*** about no Dagestan who's been groomed to be great from age of three. That. That's real f***ing storyline right there. And he's legally blam. You know what? This is the level of Pereira fan. I'm going to say it right now. Adesanya haters, they like Pereira and they're Brazilian. Poetan fans, Alex Pereira, Giga Chad fans, gay for Alex Pereira at the very top. And some of you are in that bracket. I'm sorry. That is the level of fandom that he has. Adesanya hater is where the lowest level Pereira fan there is. Pereira's cool. I'm Brazilian. I support him. I'm a Pereira fan and I'm international. I'm not even Brazilian and I'm a Pereira fan. Poetan, let's go. Poet, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, ha, hey, hey. I'm gay for Alex Pereira. Is that the, then the next level of fan base? It's insane. Giga Chad Pereira fan is the hey, ha, hey, hey. Dum, dum, dum. That walkout, dude, followed by this is how legends are made. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, what a f I should have switched my pick then and there. He one punch KO'd Strickland. He didn't. He had to follow up on Strickland because he popped right back up after he got dropped. You haven't watched fights. Don't speak and never vote in your life. Your name's Teddy. 
Your parents did not think you would make it to adulthood. They assumed you were so dumb you would die at childhood, which is why they named you short term by calling you Teddy. That's not an adult's name. They had no faith that you would make it to adulthood with a bull name like that. You called you a bridge. It would have been a perfect set of insults otherwise. Look at the uh, guys. Alex finished Hill. Yuri. I know I'm saying the Yaz finishes. He's never flatlined anyone. You dumb voting right having bit. His 303 power was insane. Yuri won't be the same. Guru Aspinall doesn't have flatline either. The Sergei KO is not a flatline. I know that it's closer to anything that Pereira's gotten in the UFC. Still one of the hardest hitters. I didn't say that he wasn't one of the hardest hitters. Alex Pereira has not left anyone in the UFC asleep out cold with one punch. That is what I said. You voting right having a roof. Aiden Ross almost had the same score on a one punch machine as. Per no, he didn't. Ain't going to lie. And the one punch machines are different on each machine. Um, how do you think Austin Bashi will do in the UFC? Don't know who he is. Can you talk about Marab's staff now? What's happening? He's got staff on his arm. They took pictures on media day. He's got blatant staff infection on his arm. I'm going home early. Odds of Lopez being the one to dethrone Ilya. Unlikely. I think Ilya's a better finisher than them. And that's where Lopez is going to lose. I think Lopez's biggest risk matchups are Josh Emmett and Ilya Tapuria. He could just finish Emmett, though. Emmett is finishable. Uh, I think Sean S could win with sub attempts and counters. He could, but he wouldn't win off sub. Strickland would win off sub attempts. Is that what you're telling me right now? No. Because you just watched him throw around Chris Curtis, which in which was obviously Shark Tank rounds, by the way. Ariel and Anik fight them. <laughs> Can you break down Rebecca versus Oral Bly? I don't know what to go with with that because I'm not sold on Oral Bly, but I know I'll be called a hater if I don't pick him. And Rebecca didn't look the best against Carlos Diego Fair and his cardio wasn't the best. I just think he's a tank and that could work against Oral Bly. So I'm I'm considering the underdog pick. Hey, fellas. Thank you for the 29 rupees. What, what dream tag team match would you like to see in the UFC if tag team matches were allowed? Ooh. Um... Drickus and Manel Cap versus Israel Adesanya and Kai Kara France. <laughs> Come on! What an answer! If that had never happened yet, if if Drickus and Adesanya had not happened yet, Drickus and Manel Cap <laughs> versus Adesanya and Kara France. What a tag team that would be. <laughs> 